Hello, hello everybody and welcome back to the channel for episode 43. It's September, early morning, we've just took the horse for a ride, who's now renamed Buell. Um, I did just record a little bit, but for some reason it didn't record it. So, I want to catch up, quick catch up for you. We've just taken this cultivating contract for 29,000 because... We've just bought for twenty thousand. Bearing in mind, we're going to. We've just bought that for twenty thousand, and that separates liquid manure into solids, so we can sort of use that once we've built our new biogas plant. And I'm also considering buying that. Really considering it. We haven't got strong enough horsepower, but I don't see how that should be an issue. Hmm. I'll have a think about it while I head up go and do the cultivating job some big old equipment for this so annoying when it doesn't save the recording it just seems to starts recording then it just goes it's like a broadcast screen. Uh, money's not looking great, to be honest, at the minute. We're waiting for about 11,000 litres of silage to be processed through the biogas plant. And then we can get stuff removed. I've moved all the equipment out of the way. Or most of it. Uh, Barry says uh, somebody came out the other day to the scrap metal guy basically came to take down the decommissioned tank we didn't get any money for it but it's out of the way it's cleared some space for us so at least it's done uh, what else has happened since we last met hundred and seventy five horsepower though, but if we could get it it's just at the wrong time because I want to get this biogas plant done. Unless we just have to smash out some loans. I mean there's gonna be contracts. Decisions, decisions. I mean, we're on a... We're on a harvesting map. There's no two ways about it. We're going to need a bale trailer. You know what? That would be good, but way ahead of us. But we're on.
We might be looking at a loan. Oh dear, what have I done? Right, I don't know. I, it's, I think the biogas plant's going to take quite a while of recording time, so I don't want to langu languish around too much. We need things that are going to make us money now, don't we, really? Which is probably going to be a bail-in contract. Right, we've got We've got a mower, we've got something to pick it up, we haven't got a baler. We might have to buy the equipment and then get on with, we need a tether as well. Just in case. Oh my days. I don't know how that works. That's an investment for the future. That looks mental. But we can sell the one that we did just buy, can't we? Or we could probably do both. That is a T9. Beautiful. Oh, I can get him from this side. Bit of a squeeze. I'll go around this way. That's even more of a squeeze. Oh yeah. Gonna be a nightmare getting this down the road. It's gonna be a nightmare getting it out of the car park. We're going to have to look towards a 200 horsepower tractor at some point. Oh, 15, that's back down towards... It's back towards where we were. It's not too bad getting down the roads then, maybe. Oh no, 15, we've just done that. Have we not? 16, 15... beast That's the tablet screen don't ever see any of these out in the farmland where I live I said that I took the dog out this afternoon over some farmland where I live and didn't see any anything going on at all didn't see many dogs to be fair out on the walk either but strange because it was a nice day Yeah, this is the field that we've done. That's gone to cages. I don't really want to use staff, but I will persevere with it. Some unexpected purchases coming up there. Right, I'll catch up with you shortly.
welcome back. Uh, things have taken a unexpected twist. I've bought this tether. I've bought this Krona square baler. Um, I've took on a hay baling contract. <laughs> We've done the cultivating, didn't take as long as I thought it would, because it's nearly two o'clock. So essentially we've got everything we could possibly want to do any hay baling contracts, and I've took on a 20 grand hay baling contract. As you'll notice the money has gone down hugely and I've took a £5,000 loan out however we've just done the cultivating contract and I haven't pulled the money back from that just yet because I'm keeping hold of the new Holland just in case I do need it for that bale trailer. The other slight issue we might have is our biggest horsepower tractor is 100 horsepowers. Horses of the powers. And that baler that I've just bought is 115. So, might be a little bit interesting. Uh, as far as it goes with the BGA, I'm not a hundred percent sure at the minute that we're gonna get it done in this episode. I guess there's. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to make you sit through me doing all of this bailing now. I'll probably show you what doesn't work. But we do need to cut our grass. But I just want to get the money back up to... 60 70 grand I'm gonna to need to work out what the minimum we need to be processing silage to make it into a financial money aspect is um, And to do that, I'm probably going to have to look at somebody's YouTube video. Or we're just going to have to test it. Now, hold on, where is... Where is our mower? Plenty of money in potatoes, if you want it. Weeding, if you've got some weeding, you could do some quick money. Where is our potato... Uh, potato... Where's our mower? Hmm. We've got one. So where is it? What have I left over there? There's the mower. Oh, I've still got the baler leased as well. 
dear. Better go and fetch them, innit? Well. Yeah. <laughs> Pain for that. Baylor still. Oh dear. All of that harvesting done, we were paying for a beta all that time. Oh well. Mistakes happen. Much time has passed since we last spoke. Uh, we've done the big baling contract on the other field. Uh, we're waiting for the silage to finish processing in the current BGA before it gets uh, taken away. So I thought I'd, uh, well we've got a bit of time to kill. I'll get the glade mown up. Uh, what else has happened? Oh yeah, I forgot to roll the canola on 44. So I got the roller, went down there to do it. It's too late because we've already started growing. However, we have got weeds. So we need to sort the weeds out. Uh, so I have procured, well bought, a sprayer. Just a little, less than six grand, little tiny one. We're going to pick that up shortly and then go over and spray. Uh, we're just waiting for the chem shed over there on the right. Just there. We're waiting for that to produce some herbicide as it can make herbicide from a solution of salt and water which is good so that's not going to cost us to do that's what we like uh, the I think I did mention earlier the decommissioned manure tank digestate tank uh, tank has uh, gone so we've got a bit more room we're trying to move all of the equipment out of the BGA as you'll see momentarily so we've got room to get the equipment cleared out and worked on Oh dear, I'm going to be, I need to turn it off. I'll be churning up the grass all over the place. Oh, actually, we've got the map on that, should give us a yield map, should it not? Dee 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 dee. Uh, to be careful with this because it doesn't particularly like driving over the grass that's mulched, uh, mowed, get stuck, oops, sometimes this likes to turn on a sixpence, sometimes it's like, no I'm not moving mate, isn't very good. So I wonder if we're gonna need to maybe grass roll. We did mulch didn't we though? Maybe it does need rolling. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, I'm here all week. It 
is very early because uh, well we just went straight through really now the, the mowing and the baling with the new equipment the l the biggest of the masses does the job fine it's more than happy with it uh, but it doesn't like hills it struggles as you know expected so we are gonna have to look in the market at a bigger horsepower same thing with the uh, auto bail trailer it struggles with that uh, but you know we did use it for most equipment did I use the new Holland from the cultivating job to move everything of course I did it just made sense and it saved time we were using it through the night they weren't going to be needing it back it just didn't make any sense but it's got the money back up I did spend six grand on the sprayer, or five and a half grand on the sprayer, but that's not to worry too much because we're going to be getting that back in a minute anyway. I'm hoping that doesn't disappear when we sell the BGA. time when we cut this we mulched we mowed and mulched so why we got a fairly poor looking yield looking like around the 80s marker which is a little bit of a concern I thought mulching it would have added an extra state. I mean, we can mulch it, it's not. It's not a problem, is it, really? We've got this. This guy mulches for fun at a great speed. remember that on the controls uh, I don't know if we're going to get the building a bit stuff. I mean realistically we've probably not got enough money to afford all of the items at present anyway why won't you turn oh dear I've already opened it no, that'll be alright
So yeah, whether we'll get the time to do the whole lot. I'm still, I'm not sure, because obviously we need to save before we do any work. In case it doesn't work, I've got a bit of a concern if we... When we get rid of the BGA, we're going to lose all the silage contracts. That is a big worry. Especially now we've just bought all the equipment. I mean, in theory we won't because it's still adding a production into the game. And I have had contracts for mod productions on Paul Bailon. So fingers crossed it's not going to mess the whole thing up. I think I'm going to mulch this. Yeah, I think it makes sense. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, I'll mulch this and then I'll... Uh, up with you once I've got that done to turn it to mulch so the small holding is just getting it's grass cut I miss a bit down that bottom. I feel like I did. Now, annoyingly, that I was hoping that new silo that we put in. would hold the grass. I was hoping we can cut the grass, drop it in the silo and then move it at our convenience. Uh, that's not the case. Which is rather disappointing. Oh dear, I forgot to put the... forgot to lower it. set the last bit out why not come on you lot <laughs> and now on the yield map top end of the fields done really well same as we did before but bottom end again not too good
and I'll be able to show you ah we better put that out there then <laughs> we're gonna have to get something to store somewhere to store everything it's um So this does work, you see. I mean, it's only eight miles an hour, but you know, is it? No, I've not tried picking up. If it is picking up these whole rows, that's really good. I'm really happy with that. be fair 11 miles an hour though it's not it's not exactly slouching is it? it just feels like it struggles a bit and this is quite flat so it's turning it has a bit of an issue with but doing the job I mean obviously it would be nice if we had a oh, that's too big for the thing oh, that must be the one we've just used for that massive job that'd be nice but not not something we require at present I didn't want to bail this so obviously we can't put it we can't put it in our bunker could not think of the word bunker then. full on brain fog <clears throat> um. and we can't wrap it we can use it for feed though not that they need the feed although think if we get a maybe get a contract that requires wrapped silage we can cheekily put this through it if it's got if it's a square baler
So turning it, I'm so happy this is actually taking these rows up because that does. Maybe the old big extractor, if that ever come up on a deal. Well, any square wrapper that comes up on a deal, we'll just get it because it's uh, a bit of a no-brainer. We've got everything else now. The mower actually puts it into a line that we can pretty much just pick up. This is such a good baler. 14,000. Absolute winner. We've got forks here on the tractor so we can move it about. Rain's on the way. The BJ will have to be next episode. Because setting everything out, going through everything, could potentially take us an hour ish. Factoring some restarts for this mistake happening. Yeah, picking all of this up might be a bit of an issue actually. I mean, it's not picking them up, I think it might be the bales might be an issue. Can that gate shut? <laughs> There's some strength in that gate. Just <laughs> reverse back as far as possible before you drop and just see if I can crush as much into it as possible. Ah, it's dropped it there. Let's push it back. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have done it. Yeah. Although, it's a little bit tight to get it in and around the little areas. Go on, son. Go on. Eat it. You can do this. Yep. Let's get out and spin it round. Not very conventional, but... into there, take all of that I 
Cut that bit. Ah. Oh well. I can scoop that one. I don't want to be losing bales into the... into the hedgerow, ideally. Might be good for the wildlife, though. But it's a good investment for the future because once we've managed to pick up a tractor with a bit more horsepower, it's going to be an. It's the only baler we should need, I think. I mean, don't get me wrong, if a fast bale comes up. Then... I'll cer certainly uh, consider it. Okay. That'll do us there, that's made a mess. Another two of them to pop out. Uh, I'm going to need that gate moving. Get that folded. That's in the way. Let's give it a little shove out of that way. Yeah. <laughs> Move that down there. Bit of area here we can clear out maybe. Right, next job on the list is da -da 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 -da. should be clearing up this area, but it's not. We're gonna We're going to Oh I'm not took the horse out for a run. You've got it. <laughs> I'm thinking I might meadow grass, meadow grass along here, the outskirts, basically. Turn it into more of a a meadow style ploughed the whole area meadow and then put a big square well a big rectangular grass field straight in the centre is my theory and plan 
I can then put these bushes and things back in along but have it just look a little bit it will look more uniform and neater which isn't necessarily accurate but it will make it easier for us to maintain the field that's on here and hopefully that'll get our score up and we can sort of tree line all the way up if these olives actually do any any goodness to us Uh, let's get the information screen up because ah, he's about ready to go because I'm very concerned about the time that we're running I quite like how that hedgerow is different sizes it's very good work by the map maker Uh, chickens we need to check what the numbers is on that I think I don't know if that's full we'll to check up on that at some point and um, I do quite like these tree bit but it's also an area we could put extra things in I suppose it would mean potentially stay still pal Wants a, wants a bit of fuss to make me. Right then, that's that done. That's that done. Uh, I need to keep that open because I'm going to end up knocking hedgerows everywhere. Right, next we're going to head up to the store. This trailer is being sold because we've bought something else. Struggle, isn't it? Oh, I'm going to go pick up the. I'm going to sell this. pick up the sprayer go and put herbicide in because there should be some herbicide now at our chemical chem shed I'll call it and then I'll convene with you when we're on our way to 44 we are flying our way down here at a big nine miles an hour which has been the constant speed we've taken since the shop we've swung by the chem shed and put a thousand litres of herbicide in to our John Deere sprayer look at that beauty I think a thousand litres should be okay for weeding. And I'm assuming the size area will work. I certainly hope so. Uh, a little fertilising contract fertilising contract's just come up uh, we won't be able to get that done on this episode because we're running very short on time but we will get this done hopefully unless it tanks for over a thousand thousand litres of fertiliser then we'll be a little bit stuck If you've not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button.
if you'd like to leave a comment feel free to leave a comment in the comment section seeing how many times I can fit comment into a sentence and if you've enjoyed the video please hit the like button as that helps with the magical algorithm I'm annoyed that that silo down at the small holding doesn't take the grass so I think we might at some point be expanding our silo situation up here because I really like this silo and there's extensions for it are uh, look pretty swish so we couldn't roll this but uh, that can open I better put the thing on for this and I the wassy box on it that one. Da, 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 da. I don't need to lower it, do I? Maybe. Unfold. What the? Oh yeah, that's way bigger than I was expecting. Automatic application. Turn on and we go in. Yeah, boy. It's spraying at nine mile an hour. Lovely, don't mind that at all. Perfect. Trying to get from A to B to C to D. Oh, pulling teeth. And it's not going through that much of it, which is really good. How far down have I gone with this field? Because I've slightly expanded it a bit by accident, accidentally on purpose. Well, I suppose we'll find out next year when the canola is ready to harvest. But this, I'm very, uh, five grand, and we got, oh, it's just over five grand. Now, I spent a grand fixing this tractor when we got to the shop, but we got another five grand back on the trailer anyway, so. The trailer's served as well, but I just don't think we're going to need it. And this, nine metres, it's fine. We could probably pick up a, we can pick up spraying contracts with this as well. So this will pay for itself over time. We're making our own herbicide anyway. We're going to struggle for the money on the BGA, but we'll assess that little beauty on the next episode. As it's lunchtime presently, we've got most of our jobs done really. I think the next episode we're just going to go straight in and see if we can delete and build a working BGA plant in an hour. Please join me on that episode. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I have been Farmer12T. Bye bye.